Ahead of the planned Friday protest, there are signs the Brotherhood is softening its position. One official says it would be open to talks about new presidential elections. CCTV's Adel Mahrui now reports. The press briefing was called to announce another mass protest, another attempt to revitalize popular support behind ousted President Mohamed Morsi. But the briefing also revealed some of Morsi's supporters want to talk to the men who ousted him. Having early presidential elections is something we can discuss, but not breaking the winnings of the January revolution. We are holding dear to Morsi because he was an outcome of the January 25th revolution. The interim government has promised new elections by early next year, part of its roadmap back to democracy. Until now, though, the Brotherhood has rejected that. Hanafi says mediation efforts continue, but that the military continues to reject any deal. The Brotherhood also is struggling to find consensus among its leadership. Many of them are in jail. The leaders cannot communicate well together, but there are members that in one way or another could be reached out for communication. Hanafi says any deal must include the release of thousands of its members and protection for peaceful protests. In the meantime, its newly founded organization, the Anti-Coup Alliance, will continue demonstrations. The Anti-Coup Alliance, including the Muslim Brotherhood, insists that the resistance will continue. And they now say that the planned protests on August 30th are only the beginning of a new wave of that resistance. Adil Mahroui, CCTV. Cairo.